What's up, y'all, man? It's King Paulo here, bro. Back with another video. This Will Smith and Will Smith and Jada, bro. Jada Pinkett Smith. Bro. Number one, Jada Pinkett Smith didn't force Will Smith to marry a man. Number two, I personally think Will Smith is a cuck. If you guys don't know what cuck is, you can look it up like cuck holding. You can just Google that and you'll see. I think Will Smith. Is one of those guys that likes to watch that, to watch this girl do. I just feel like that, man. Um, I even just go numbers down in the video, but just some shit I want to talk about on that situation. Because people, are, like, I get it as a man. <coughs> it is fucked up. It is fucked up to hear that. And it's like, damn, bro, you imagine yourself. But, but Will Smith, like, Will Smith already knew that Jay, like, put like this, bro. By these statements that he said about Tupac, and he's saying about their sex life, he already knew this kind of stuff, bro. See, like, <coughs> it's just like the PJ Washington and Brittany Rayner situation. She didn't force him nothing, bro. She got videos saying what she do. He's saying, oh, man, oh, I got with it. I couldn't satisfy. I could barely make her come. I was trying my best, bro. Like, I couldn't sexually satisfy. But he kept trying. It confirms, bro. Pretty much, money don't matter. <coughs> and also, what I tell y'all, bro, it's just something about that. I'm going to just say real. I'm, Cause I consider myself a real nigga. And I consider myself a real man. I consider myself somebody that thinks outside the box. Somebody that takes care of himself. Somebody that is spiritual and shit like that. So I ain't going to even say thug. I'm just going to say it's something about that real type dude that's just going to turn a woman on. Will Smith has that cuckold energy. Oh. <laughs> Will Smith has that avoid confrontation energy. And this is something that I realized as a man too, <clears throat> getting older, that you that it just that comes with being a man. Confrontation um, has to happen. Confrontation is necessary, bro. That's part of being a man. One of the hardest things about being a man. One of the hardest parts about being a man, especially if you if you were raised to be nice. Cause I'm a nice guy, bro. So it's kind of hard for me to grasp my hand around. You can't run away from confrontation, bro. Confrontation is necessary as a man. Necessary. When you're a man, and especially if you're gonna stand on something, I stand on something as a man. Now, if you want to go around and not have morals and not give a fuck about what you do, and you don't care about who you sit with and who you get money with and who you communicate with and who you call your friend, then you don't have to. You don't have to care, bro. But somebody like me, and maybe somebody like you watching this video, I I stand on some, bro. I I like. You can't do anything and come around me. And cause you're not doing it to me or around me is cool, nah, bro. Like, like you, like you niggas be having homies that they know, um, <clears throat> like pedophiles, mess with little kids and shit. But because, but you, but you've been knowing them since you're twelve, man. Something wrong. You need, you need. If you, fuck, you know what I'm saying, bro? You that don't rock with me. I stand on more. I want to have children. I'll kill you, bro. I'll fucking kill you, bro. Not trying to threaten nobody. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. Remember when y'all, remember the time I said, that's the thing about Snoop Dogg to get me. And I remember some of y'all in the comments was like, what you mean? I was like, he don't stand on nothing. He just cool with everything and anything that goes on. It's just Uncle Snoop. And man, I, I sit down with everybody. I got love everybody. You know, they're all wicked, evil. At, there are so many fucked up people on this earth. Look at how many bodies they find in people's garages and, and freeze, deep freezers and shit. There's so many wicked people on this earth, bro. You cool with everybody. You just get love. You got love for everybody. I can't fuck with you, bro. So confrontation is necessary as a man, bro. Will Smith is one of those people that tries to avoid that. That's not being a man. It's just what it is. One of the things, an example of it is, if you can't, hold on, bro, let me fix my joint, guys. 
<coughs> it's kind of bright around. Like, you got to confront yourself and you got to confront your relationship. And if it's not working, you got to leave it. You're not weak for um, getting cheated on, bro. You weak for staying in a relationship where you're getting cheated on. You're not less than, a, you know what I'm saying? You're not less than a man because your girl left you for a woman or something. You're less than a man because you knew that's what she was into, but you chose to avoid confrontation, avoid the, avoid what's, what's actually happening. You're not starting trouble. You're just, you're just handling the problem and, and facing what's going on head on and, 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 and doing what's best for your life and your time, the most valuable thing in your life, your time, and not wasting it. You less than a man for, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for wasting your time. You're not a man, you, you're not less than a man for standing up and leaving, or it happening to you, and you saying, oh, it's happening, or you calling her out on, it's happening, or, you know what I'm saying, y'all not, you're not sexually satisfying her, or she not sexually satisfying you. You call it out. And if she say you don't sexually satisfy her, y'all gotta talk about what you can do. And if y'all come to some, y'all come to a point where you can't decide, and it don't work and you don't sexually satisfy her and you can't, she don't do it for you. You need to break up, be, being a man, conf, you need to confront that, be a man and leave. That's the kind of shit that Will Smith on. That's the reason she comes out with them kind of statements. Jada Pickett Smith and Polly Dish, she does, she does it on purpose. You all know that she, it's, it's like, this is what happens. This is what happens when you let your wife shit test you and you just never do nothing. You become a Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith. That's what happens, bro. When you just let your wife just shit test you, do you do nothing about it? You just take shit test after shit test after shit test. You don't stand up for your. This is what happens. This is what happens. They literally get other men around. They literally, they literally sleep with other men, right? Confront it like she, like take it. To, come on, man, embarrass and take it to the red table talk. Use reverse psychology, victimize themselves, and and then still trying to make you stay in a relationship so they can and even do it more and more until it's just nothing left, bro. Because that's what that that's probably what turns her on now Bel belittling him and stuff like that that's why i say the best thing will smith people say man he can no man if will smith wants to get it better he needs to leave he should have been left you will smith you should have left 20 years ago 10 years ago 2010 y'all could have got divorced who cares man it's people to raise their kids separately all the time you're not less than a man for doing that you just you're less than a man for trying to stay in and be better than everybody else like i took my your marriage didn't work and there's nothing wrong with that. There's marriages that do work. There's people who get married, they get divorced twice. That third time works. Shit, some people the second time works. It's some people the first time to get marriage works. There is no exact formula. You just have to be a man and confront things when they're wrong and be, and be strong enough to stand up and be strong enough to be alone. That's what it is, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. <laughs>